Hi, this is Solvay from Bonholm Yoga and Retreat Center. And I've got John Stirk here. Uh, John, would you tell us something about the course you're going to be teaching when you come here the 11th to the 13th of May? So Solvay, it's different. It's, 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 it's relatively effortless. Um, nobody will be compromised. It, 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 we will not be doing shoulder stands and head stands. And we will not be sitting for hours in meditation. We will be doing, we will be doing meditations, but there will be um, mainly laying down meditations with the limbs flowing like seaweed towards the surface of the ocean. Um, very, very gentle movements. Um, my work's changed a little bit. It does since I was last there. Yeah. And I'm using more movement. Um, okay. And um, we are how we move. When we move in a certain way, we feel better and behave differently. Our body sense gives us our sense of self and the quality of our movements directly influences how we feel on all levels. We only have one nervous system, each part knowing what every other part is up to. The nervous system that thinks, feels and acts also integrates and refines our movements and determines their quality. Even the smallest refinements can affect us in a positive and enlightening way. When we are more graceful, in accord with the space around us, and in tune with the pull of gravity, we are quieter, more relaxed, have more clarity, and are emotionally more intelligent. Effortless and smooth motion is a primary factor in a more effortless and smoother way of being. So that's what I've written there. Mm, that's really nice. Yeah, but I haven't actually said what they're going to do in the workshop. I usually do that. You know, the workshop's not going to be, it's going to be very simple movements. Um, whereas last time, um, I think we were spending lots of time dropping into gravity. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's still there, but we're going to spend a lot more time moving rhythmically. I'm very into rhythm at the moment. What happens is people lock themselves up in a position and then they try and get out of it with the breathing and the gravity. Yeah. So why lock yourself up in the first place? Yeah. All right, so I don't, I, I'm not trying to upset anybody or saying that what I'm doing is better than what anybody else is doing. No or that yoga is a bad thing at all. I think it's a very good thing, but I'm just going in a different direction and trying to make things um, easier for people. Yeah. Right? So, um, also, the, the, in fact, the, the yoga that is more ancient than the modern practice is some of the yoga that was actually practiced in colder climates like Northern Asia. Okay. Um, for example, Qigong is a good example of that. There's one or two other things, but Qigong, where, there's, where you're not, where you're, you know, you imagine the monk on the mountain, I call it the monk on the mountain, yeah. and he's outside at six o'clock in the morning, and he's got his long robes on, his sandals, you know, and he's just swaying, and he's moving, and there's small movements. And the, the art, and the, um, the art and the results of that come from that he keeps going. It's very repetitive. So he may be turning in one direction for 10 minutes, but rhythmic, soft movements. Now, there's so much, when you come away from flexibility, because flexibility is totally overrated, yeah. people have got to be able to do this with their foot and do this with their leg, you know, and it takes such a long time. Once you come away from that, the movement possibilities that people have are endless. There are so many permutations, for example, of one arm. You know, once, you, once an arm is free, it can move in so many different directions. So what I'm interested in at the moment is not putting people in a position, a yoga position or an emotional position, where they have to do a certain posture in a certain way, yeah. giving people more freedom to move so there's no stretch at all, there's no, there's no label or this is what it is, and it's kind of, it's creative movement. There is a yoga in there. There's definitely a yoga in there because the way the mind is. But I'd say it was more creative movement based on sound osteopathic principles. So that's what my teaching is now. Yeah. So that if you're moving an arm or a leg or you're moving the body um, in some kind of rhythmic coordination, very gentle, very smooth, very repetitive, there's lots of different per uh, um, 
possibilities. And but if you just give people stuff to do, and you can look at creative movement on the on the web. You know, you can look up creative movement, yeah. and people are doing the most ridiculous things. They're throwing themselves about all over the place. There's no coordination. They see it as a license just to let rip. And um, that's not what it's about. It does need to be based on an understanding of how the spine functions, of the importance of the pelvis, because so much of our movement is driven by the pelvis. What I've discovered is that people can't move their pelvises. I've had um, yoga teachers, long-standing good yoga teachers in my groups, I say, okay, we're going to move the pelvis very gently. Yeah. They haven't got a clue. Mm. They can't move the pelvis from side to side. Or in a figure of eight motion, it's fixed because basically, so they're out of their comfort zone. It's not their fault. It's not their. And then you can take somebody like a, a lorry driver, or a plumber, yeah. or you know, or or a girl that sits in an office all day long who's never done anything. So okay, move your pelvis. It's amazing what they can do. So it's a different thing. Really, and I'm just this is a generalization because yeah. obviously yoga. Too. So it's actually, I, 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 from where I was last year, which was very, it was a wonderful workshop. I love the people. I had a couple of emails from some of your students, some of the people that, that came to your, your, your studio there, yeah. and they were very happy. Um, but it's a year ago, and yeah. now I feel it's time to, to, to move a little bit more. Okay, yeah. So, uh, do, you so to, do you want me to say any more? Yeah, when you when you're talking about it and and about yoga teachers and truck drivers and so it's just a just to for to describe for people uh, what to expect. It, it really uh, that's it's what for I, everyone. That's what I feel, and it's also what I hear you say that it's very much for very experienced uh, yoga teachers and also for total beginners. It's for it's for it's for everyone. It's for everyone, all right? I mean, people go to the, you know, for example, I, I had to write a letter to America to some students there to, to inter make them interested in my in my course that I'm running. At the end, I'm going in about 10 days to America. Okay. And um, what I said was, part of it, it was a long letter. I know them very well, some of them. But I said, you know, imagine people on the platform, you know, there's a guru on the platform in India yeah. in orange robes or white robes, right? Yeah. So they're all sitting they're all sitting, thousands of people are sitting in the field and they, some of them are crying because of his, you know. But they haven't, they haven't gone there to see him going in. We've been going in for so long. They've come to see him emanating and radiating. Yeah. Obviously, he's emanating and radiating because he's been going in for so long. Yeah. So it, because of his introspection, he can now be more extrospective. But his energy is flowing outwards. And of course, it's both. It's about going inwards and going outwards, but one can go inwards too much and forget the balance. Yeah. So what I was telling people in this letter, it's time to come out. Let's go out together. Let's celebrate a little bit more. Mm. You know, uh, let's, be, um, let's be intelligently less serious, not wildly less serious, but intelligently and gently uh, um, less serious about this going inwards. The inwards is always there. So of course, when I come, when I come in a, in, in a few weeks in, in May, we are going to go in, but we are also going to come out. I'm going to ask people to um, imagine their, 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 their bodies as a fluid, totally as a fluid system surrounded by a membrane, mm. which is the skin. And basically, we're going to see these waves of these gentle waves. It takes a while to get there, but these gentle waves of movement that happen within, you know, happen within, are very healing on all levels. So people are going to have a gentle weekend. Yeah. They're going to have an intelligent weekend. They're not going to be forcing their bodies. They're going to feel much better. That I've got no doubt. Feel much better. And my job is to introduce them. And if they don't, if they're not aware of it already, mm -hmm. and to encourage them to discover what they already have inside them, but just we will all be giving ourselves permission to move in a certain way, and this way of moving will make us feel different. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> the freedom is in the free. The freedom in yoga is in the freedom from the system. Yeah. Totally, drop all teachers, drop all methods. Uh, this is what I, this is how I feel. I'm not asking you or anybody else to feel the same way. Mm. Drop all meditation methods. Drop all postural methods. 
drop all breathing techniques and find a way of moving and being yeah. right now yeah. in yourself. You can't you can't do it through um, you can't do it through a technique because you get stuck on the technique and all yeah. you're doing is yeah. moving further and further away from yourself. Yeah. So basically, we're thinking. Um, um, I thought of a, a very nice T-shirt, actually, because I come up with these T-shirts now and again. Dropping the mind is not stopping the mind. Exactly. So you drop the mind. You don't let go. You don't let go of it, but you just drop it to a slightly deeper level. Yeah. So that, that the, 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 the undersurface surfaces, and that's where the calm is. Because, listen, basically, we just want to be calm and quiet and peaceful. And if the body's healthy at the same time, we're doing very well. It's like going to the essence of yoga, really. Yeah, absolutely. And the essence of yoga is not what is not in what's out there. No, it's not. It's not in Iyenga. It's not in uh, anything. It's not in Scaravelli even. It's not in Shivananda. I don't know what your background is. It's not in. And they all knew this. They all know this. These people, but everything became marketable. Yeah. Some people. Some people are stiff. Some are supple. Some po some people easily find the depth of their exhalation while others find it more elusive. Some favor certain postures. Others prefer something different. Some people have high anxiety levels and others enjoy a more relaxed way of being. The point is we all differ, have our individual patterns of tension and may need a more tailored body-mind approach. So to what extent can we satisfy individual needs within a group practice? What kind of approach may provide an inclusive, beneficial, and accessible practice for all participants within a class setting? Experience shows that an important factor in body-mind work is that the sensations are pleasurable and that enjoyable movement backed up by sound mechanical principles tends to bring deep and lasting results. Whatever the tension levels or emotional tone, an agreeable way of moving that awakens, stimulates, and relaxes the nervous system on all levels has been shown to undercut individual differences. This workshop introduces a rhythmic, pleasant, and meditative way of moving. As we feel into our sensory matrix, and release our personal patterns, we are fed by and feed the group as a whole. We begin to move as one unwinding organism engaged in the pleasurable activity of free and effortless motion. This is where I'm at. Great. Well, I really appreciate it talking with you, John, and I'm really looking forward to the course. If uh, anyone of you guys listening to this uh, are thinking about signing up, then you should know there's an early bird price uh, until the 4th of April. And there's also a discount if you sign up two people together. You can see more on the website at bonhomyoga.dk. Thank you, John, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. All right, then. Take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. Okay, bye.